Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that I had kind of talked to you guys about in my life update, I think. I had asked how you guys would feel if we started like a YouTube book club on my channel. Now I'm not like an author or like this super well-read human being by any means but I do love a good self-help book so I don't want to make this video super long but I thought for the month of October you guys if you've already read this book that's great maybe you can read it again if you've never read this book or heard of this book maybe you can pick it up and then we'll come back at the end of October and have a little discussion about our thoughts in the comments. So I'll kind of tell you what I thought about from this book and you guys can sound off down below. Just to hold myself accountable, I bought this book months ago and I've maybe read like three or four pages which is really ridiculous and kind of disgusting because it's a waste of my money if I buy books and I tend to do that a lot I buy books I get like halfway through them and then I forget to finish it and so to break the cycle I thought let's start a little book club and if you can't tell this is the subtle art of not giving a and I think this will just benefit me, I personally have a very casual attitude when it comes to life. A lot of things don't get me down really. But you know what? We can always use a little, you know, extra information. So I'm excited. It says a counterintuitive approach to living a good life by Mark Mason. So if you want to find it, I will link it down below. I'll just find it and link it for you guys in case you know you don't know where to pick it up. I picked mine up from Target. I always buy books at Target because you guys all know if you follow me on Instagram, Target's like my happy place. It's like my therapy. I just walk in there and I go through the, you know, clothing, jewelry, the men sometimes just to see if there's anything cute for my husband. Then I'll make my way through to electronics, which is kind of by the books. Sometimes I'll look at homeware and then I'll make my way through to the beauty section and also sometimes stationery because I'm also obsessed with stationery. It's never really to buy groceries. So anyway, a little tangent about that. But yeah, so we'll come back at the end of October, maybe like the last week or so, and we'll try and talk about what we learned from this book. I hope you guys are excited about this little series. We'll see how it goes. I have a few other books. They're always probably gonna be like self-help books because that's like my favorite thing to read. But yeah, I'm excited. Let me know if you guys are excited. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and definitely share it with your friends, you guys, because this is not like a, Oh my gosh, it's about like gaining 80,000 subscribers. This is just like something fun that I can do with my internet friends because really like I don't want to leave the house to go join a book club in the winter time, <laughs> but I thought this would be fun. So I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.